There we go, my early childhood. Mum makes tea while Dad mows the lawn. Happy days, but where did Dad's trusty Suffolk petrol lawnmower come from? They came from a factory in Stowmarket in Suffolk. It's been there for years. They've made millions of mowers that have cut lawns all over the world. Even Africa. So yet another mower is finished. One of the 600 that are produced here each day. It may be for you, it may be destined for a European, an American, an Australian, or even an African. You never know, that mower may one day find itself in a spot very far distant from Stowmarket, Suffolk. Now the factory is run by Bosch, and they still make loads of mowers, only as I found out when I visited the factory recently, these new mowers are a bit different. Bosch produced thousands of small domestic battery mowers, but this one is the Pro model. Now, Matthew, one of the things that I'm very used to with my petrol lawnmower is, you know, pulling the handle to start it, the noise it makes, and also the size of it. And I think it is about two and a half, three horsepower little petrol engine, which is what everyone's used to. But that is amazing. So that is the, the, the middle bit of that is the motor that drives the blade. That's correct, yes. This is a, a two horsepower or 1.4 kilowatts right. uh, electric motor. All there is is one, one rotating part. Yeah. Uh, so no servicing. Uh, it's also completely waterproofed and uh, delivers the petrol performance that uh, we get from... Uh, that, but that is also quite interesting. When you say no servicing, I mean, basically for the lifetime of the entire unit. I mean, by the time that needs servicing, the rest of it will have, will have long fallen to bits. There's, there's nothing to go wrong in here. Right. There's just a pair, uh, some bearings, and, yeah. and that's all there is. And they're all sealed in and waterproof that's right. anyway. Yes, sealed bearings. Wow, it is extraordinary, isn't it? I then went out to a local garden to find out more. So Christian, everyone knows about lawnmowers. <laughs> and then you've come up with something slightly different. So what, what was it that inspired that? You said it already, it all comes from the users at the end of the day in our environment and uh, the whole business in Power Tools is driven by the users and this is actually where it came from. Right. So there's annoying applications out there which uh, technology these days did not allow uh, to deliver better performances or, or, or better emissions. So uh, that was one driver, so technology right. availability. And so is that got, is that quite a lot of that down to developments in battery technology, sort of increased energy density? And Do you think that was what caused the tipping point? And, and this definitely caused the tipping, tipping point. Uh, I mean, these professional users, they, uh, they require really petrol performance, right. and this is what you have to deliver. If you don't do that, you but don't have a right to exist. Yeah. Uh, we, we, have, we, we had lithium-ion technology in our power tool business yeah. for a long time already, yeah. uh, and we had it in our DIY garden business for a long time already, um, but the requirements for power tools are different to what you need to have as gardeners. Right. So I suppose a drill go, uses a lot of energy for a short moment while it drills a hole, exactly and then it's doing the point, nothing, yeah. whereas the mower is going all the time. Exactly. Right. So, 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 the, different. so the power tool uh, batteries, they have to deliver high peak currents, right. uh, but, but the application time, the real application time is much shorter, yes. and such a lawn mower uh, is, is just going and going and going. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that is fascinating. So, I mean, because the, the, the batteries see, look somehow quite small to me, because you'd think if to have batteries on a lawnmower, it's going to be the size of a you know, tea chest, but those, yeah. those are the batteries. And, the, and what, uh, roughly how long can you mow with those if they're both full? If they are both full, you can uh, mow between an hour and one and a half hours. Right. So it's roughly uh, it's quite similar to a, pe a, a petrol fill, a tank fill of a petrol right. mower. Right. Yeah. Right. And this will change from year to year, you yeah. can say. And we saw that in the power tool industry over the last years as well. Right. So ha have, has the energy density in power tools increased? I can give you an example how quick that goes. I mean, we introduced uh, this lawnmower this year right. in the market with a six amp hour battery. Right. And uh, next year, uh, we will even launch a 9 amp hour battery. So right. we are getting 50% more, more reach and, and from same, one year to the other. Right, and the same size. It same is the exactly the same wow. size, and wow. it's just the density about lithium right. ion cells. You can run this, lawn, this lawnmower now, for example. Uh, it drives you anywhere without starting it. And it's deafening. You, you hardly can hear it. <laughs> no, you, you know? can't hear anything. Yeah? We didn't cut now. It was just, right. you can go from one place to the other right. without starting the oh, engine. Oh, I see. So that's just, yeah. dry, that's just yeah. to move it, move it around. So that's right. a big advantage already. And yeah. uh, obviously, I don't have to pull any cords no. here. Uh, so you start it by just pushing a button, and that's it. Wow. And we still can talk. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, that's amazing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So and actually, the noise is really coming from the it's the blade, isn't it? Rather it's, than the it's, motor, it's, it's the, purely it's, the blade. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's even more impressive if you look into a a, a brush cutter. Right. 
I, I, I like to demonstrate that because right. this is really annoying. Have you ever yeah. used a pedal? I brush have, cutter? yes. It's very so noisy and very... You might know that. Yeah. Actually, to, to listen to that brush yeah. cutter, and this one has petrol performance, right. real petrol right. performance. This is it. I mean, wow. it's even quieter than the lawnmower. You that see? is insane. Because I mean, if yeah. that was a petrol brush cutter, we would be screaming to, to yeah, actually, communicate with we, each other. Yeah, we would have taken a break of five minutes yeah, to we just would. get it yeah. started, get yeah. it mixed in, <laughs> and all that stuff. Yeah. So, Mark, now this—I'm amazed at this battery because that oh, is. Hang on, hang all on. All right, okay. Come on. Oh, oh, ah. oh! I dropped it. I'm ah. really bad at catching. Not a problem. Hey, and that is really what, I, that really frightens me. Two meter drop. You can—it can stand a two meter drop. That is incredible. <laughs> But also, okay, so here's one thing. So you're, you're mowing out in, the, out, in the, out in the middle of a playing field and it okay. starts raining. Uh -huh. I just think, you know, you've got water and batteries and electricity. Everyone knows that's like lethal. Not a problem, I mean, okay. So what we've got inside here is the cells are totally sealed. Right. So they're encapsulated in a giant bag, right. which is obviously then shrunk over the cells itself. So right. this is fully, what we call IP rated. Right. So ingress protection. So all ingress of our products protection. are right. fully IP. I mean, yeah. although mowing in the wet is never a good idea because the grass gets... But imagine two scenarios. Good. One is, of course, you're, you're mowing in a large area. It yeah. starts to rain. You know, professional gardener is not going to stop working. Right. What he'll do is he'll carry on finishing the job then you'll pack away. Right. The other scenario is, of course, you, you're in your flatbed truck, you're driving up the M1, oh, God. you yeah. run into a traffic jam, yeah. and it starts it's raining. pouring with rain, you and haven't got out to back. get out. Of course. So yeah. these are fully used right. in all weatherproof, right. absolutely. So well, That's got wires and a plug. Yeah, it's not Surely a that's this wrong. This is not ah. a problem at all. So, uh, you know. <laughs> My trousers, on the other hand, aren't <laughs> waterproof. <laughs> That is amazing. So that, and that's going on the contacts. That's going yeah. directly onto the contacts. Plug it back in. Oh. Wow. And away we go. That is extraordinary. I would not, because you'd think water on contacts wow. between battery, you'd, something's going to go wrong. Now, nowadays, I mean, technology is totally different. Right. It's moved right. on considerably. Yeah. So. And this is the other thing that we haven't talked about is the charge time and the right. recharge time of this battery. So we have a 10 amp charger. The 10 amp charger allows you to recharge this battery in 42 minutes. The mower takes one hour to run, and therefore, if you've got two batteries charging, two batteries on the lawn mower, you can work continuously. Oh God. You would literally stop for a few seconds while you swap batteries. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's it. it. So there's virtually no downtime right, at right. all. So they charge faster than they discharge yep. in use. And that's the same on right. all of our products. But then what if you're like miles from a, a, a shed with a plug socket and you can't... If you're in a field yeah. with no electricity. So what we've got here, brand new to the marketplace, it's basically a portable socket. There's a massive battery inside here, right. and here's your 230 volt socket. Take your charger, you plug it in, plug it in. put your battery in, and now you're recharging. That's, that's recharging from that. Wow, that's that is recharging amazing. directly from here. So this could be on the back of a pickup truck or whatever. It could be wherever you like. It yeah. could be in the field. It has no need to be anywhere close to anything electric. Right. So all you've got to remember then, in the, in the long scheme of things, like your phone, we're yeah. used to that. Plug it in at night. <laughs> it's a change of a change of attitude. Is, You've got to think yeah. a little bit different. Yeah. yeah, you don't want to get up in the morning, come downstairs, okay. and the battery's empty. To, I yeah. forgot to plug it in. Exactly. Yeah. So get home at night, right. plug it in, leave it to charge. Lithium mine's very safe to leave it to charge, so you right. can leave it on charge once it's finished. Once it's finished, it switches, switches off. Anyway. Itself off. And how, how many of those batteries could you can you charge from this roughly? I mean, well, it's around it? about seventeen hundred watt hours of energy in here. Right. So you charge somewhere between sort of five, six, maybe up to seven batteries. Right, which is going to be a, a long day's mowing non-stop. It's a full it? day's work. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this is what we're looking right. for. Yeah. So that is amazing. So you could have, the, you could be in, the, in a park that's nowhere near any uh, power outlet. Yep. You have this in the back of the truck, you have the batteries charging, you're mowing away, you come yep. back, swap them over. Yep. And you can work and all day long. There's and actually no need for electricity, no need for petrol right. anymore. You're totally independent yeah. from all these power sources.